Welcome to Japan, home of the French toast sandwich. If you want a flavor-packed convenience store tour in downtown Tokyo, you've come to the right place. So I was cruising around Tokyo when I came across a Lawson convenience store and decided to give it a go. I waltzed on over to the prepared foods zone and started scoping out the situation and what do we got here? Seems to me like we got us a fish burger with a little tartar sauce on the top and bottom, including a little cheese and what's this? We got us a food item called the Good Daug. It's basically just a decked out hot dog, but it has good in the name and an exclamation point in the title, so I am oddly attracted to it. Then again, I am trying to lose that quarantine 15, so I think I should probably stick to something a little more healthy. So what do we got here? We got us a little rice triangle action, aka the onigiri. So here we have the salmon eggs and salmon meat combo, which is always a classic, but what's this? Here we got the tarako, also known as the marinated pollock roe egg sack jammed inside a rice triangle. Sounds like the champagne of victory to me, so I jammed that rice triangle into my cart and started checking out the baked foods selection. And whoa there, baby, whoa, whoa. Do you actually see what I'm seeing here? Because apparently we got us a cheese pretzel danish? I like cheese danishes and I like pretzels, but let's take a look at the actual product. I don't know everybody, I thought that picture was looking real nice, but the actual product is looking a tad lackluster. I mean, I am kind of tempted to buy it anyway, because every snack purchase is a leap of faith. But at the same time, when I buy myself a snack, I want to know within my very heart of hearts that it's the right snack for me. I want to feel like the very snack gods themselves crafted that snack to help me fulfill my life's purpose. So with that in mind, let's check out the next snack and holy diabetic dogs. Is this a sandwich or French toast? Apparently, it's both. Basically, it's ham and cheese inside two slices of French toast, and that's sounding a real nice. I guess my plan was to have some healthy snacks today, but sometimes allowances have to be made. Sometimes limits have to be tested and rules have to be broken. Sometimes the quarantine 15 ends up becoming the quarantine 16, but it's not every day you see a French toast sandwich. So with that in mind, let's see what other kind of savory snacks they got around here, and whoa! Get a load of this snack, baby cakes. We got us the strong brand Demon Consummate Chippy Whippies. Now, I wasn't exactly in the mood to eat chips, but something about seeing this mildly irritated demon made me think twice. So I nonchalantly shoved those chips into my cart and started checking out the sweets selection. Now today I feel like elevating my blood sugar to low orbit, not necessarily intergalactic levels. So with that said, this soft waffle is looking pretty nice. It seems to have some custard and cream inside, which is always a classic. They also got that turbo thick matcha cream dorayaki along with the red bean cream dorayaki as well. That's looking mighty tempting, but take a look at this shalito roll, everybody. I don't know what the heck a shalito is, but based on this propaganda picture, I can see that there's a circular shaped cake, and it seems like that cake is slam full to the brim with cream. Seems like just what the doctor ordered, so I slammed that bad boy into my cart, made my purchase, then sprinted on back to my apartment. And now I'm getting mentally prepared to slam large quantities of calories into my mouth while barely freaking moving. But I think before doing that, you and I best be praying to the snack gods for a successful food fiesta. And the best way to appease those gods is to hit the like button on this video, hit that notification bell, and comment feeling frisky down below. It might sound kind of crazy, but that one simple trick will help you to attain a higher snacking purpose, I guarantee it. Anyway, as you can see, I opened up that Tarako Onigiri, and it's looking pretty good. So after scoping it out for but a moment, I took myself a bite, and oh my samurai dogs. That pickled pollock roe is tasting real good. It's got a nice salty, fishy flavor to it, and a little bit goes a long way. I'm just a bit taken aback by the color. I mean, when you look at the packaging, that fish egg sac's got a nice radioactive pink hue. 
I'm not sure that Taraco ever really looks that pink in real life, and I have a feeling that packaging was playing with my heart. Why do they gotta amp up the saturation levels on pictures like that? Nevertheless, visual appearance aside, I am pretty pleased with this Tarako Onogiri. I'd even go as far as to rate it a 3 out of 5 daugs. After all, it wasn't monumentally tasty, but it was quite satisfying and it definitely did the job. I was just hoping for a little bit more of a radioactive hue in the color, can ya blame me? So now it's time to try out that ham and cheese French toast sandwich. Now, I don't know about you, but me personally, I love myself a nice plate of French toast, and you best believe I love myself a good ham and cheese sandwich. But I most certainly never thought of combining them, and the mere thought of trying this out is getting me pretty excited, borderline aroused. So I got my plate on deck over here, started scoping out that sandwich, and it's time to take a bite, and oh! Man, upon second thought, I think I actually should give this a little bit of a toast. After all, when you're about to chow down on a French toast sandwich, you don't want to be going halfway. I want to make sure I get the full experience over here, baby cakes, so after cooking that bad boy for a minute or two, I got myself a little tong action. Just gotta grab that corner there and slide it on off, but this thing's getting a tad slippery and it's being a tad uncooperative like. Gotta make sure I have a solid hold, because if that sandwich falls onto the floor, it's gonna be a travesty of epic proportions. Now those tongs did leave a serious mark, a crater of sorts, into that French toast. But despite that crater, or perhaps because of it, I think that French toast sandwich is looking oishi to the max. So I took myself a bite, and wow, just wow. That quasi-melted cheese along with that thin ham and the toasty French toast was one for the history books. That French toast is more on the savory side versus the sweet side, which is a good match with that ham and cheese. My only complaint is parts of that bread seem to be on the white side, which seems as though they didn't thoroughly soak it into some eggy wig. Basically, I love egg, and I think that French toast does need to be soaked to the core. So if I had to rate that French toast sandwich, I think I'd give it a 4 out of 5 daugs. Reason being plain and simple, because they just needed a little bit more eggy wig inside, but hey, I can't complain. So now it's time to try out the strong demon consummate chips, complete with a club-toting demon on the cover. Let me just open up this chip bag horizontal style. Just gotta get myself a nice little hold over here and rip it open. Should be pretty damn easy, but somehow I'm having a real hard time with this thing. It's a classic rookie move right there. I should've used my scissors like I usually do, but nevertheless, I did manage to open it successfully. And actually, the amazing thing about these chips is they're real big and real intact. There's also a great chip-to-air ratio inside the bag, and I'm usually used to having too much air, so this is pretty promising. In fact, just looking at those ridge-style chippy whippies, they look less like a snack than they do a work of art. Nevertheless, I paid for those chips, so I pretty much have to eat them, so let's take ourselves a little bit of a look. Seems to me like this chippy whippy has the aesthetic appeal of a rustic terraced rice field, so I took myself a nibble. Then I chewed once, chewed twice, and even went as far as to chew thrice, but I gotta admit, I'm pretty surprised. These chips have an awesome crunch and a great texture, but they're pretty low in the flavor department. I mean, there is a mild beef consomme flavor to it, but overall, I don't detect anything particularly demonic about it. I mean, seriously, why the use of a demon here, people? It's basically just a normal chip. So if I were to rate these demon chips, I think I'd have to give them a 2 out of 5 daugs. Reason being, because they're okay, but they're nothing worth writing home about. And last but not least, it's time for that Chalito roll. I never did hear of a shalito before, and I'm pretty sure it's just a made-up word, but nevertheless, I'm getting pretty excited to try it out. So this time I utilized my handy-dandy 100 yen shop scissors and took out the shalito, and whoa. That's a pretty nice-looking shalito right there. A decent shalito, but I think I should probably put it on a plate just to see it better. Mind you, upon closer inspection of the other side, I don't think I was actually supposed to do that, but hey, you live and you learn. The other side's still looking pretty good, so let me get myself that miniaturized convenience store spoon that they provided me. Then let me take myself a spoonful and whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Somehow, some way, I had the idea in my brain that that outer edge was going to be hard and slightly crumbly, but apparently I was wrong. Just based on touching it with that spoon, it was feeling pretty soft, so I took myself a bite. And actually, the overall taste ain't what I expected. The outer roll has a sponge cake-like consistency, and the inside's basically just custard cream. They also got some jumbo sugar granules on the top, including a little caramel sauce, but that's basically just it. Now, I gotta be honest here, people. I don't really know what in the wide, wide world of sports I was expecting from this dessert, but I definitely expected at a minimum that it would change my life in a positive way. So if I had to give an honest assessment of this Shalito, I think I'd have to give it a 2 out of 5 dogs. Reason being because the flavor combos and textures didn't really make any sense whatsoever. Anyway, if you like my work, then feel free to throw me a tip at PayPal or Cash App. I got the tag Solo Travel Blog link down below. Or if you want to improve your life one calorie at a time, then feel free to check out my previous convenience store tour. It's about Japanese healthy snacks from a kombini, and I think you'll like it a lot. So thanks for watching this video, everybody, and I hope you have a real nice day.